Hello, welcome to December. So I took last week off because it was a holiday. I'm back and I'm back with a Sephora sale haul. So I know the Sephora sale was like 72 years ago. I mean, it was really like a month ago, but it took forever to get all of the shipments in. I'm pretty sure that what everyone's been saying about shipping delays this year is true. So I just got the last of my Sephora orders in. I placed two and I'm here to tell you about all the things that I got, mostly because I just want to. I don't know if anyone's actually interested. Okay, some of the things I got are new and some of them I might return and some of them are repurchases and some of them are new and I already love them and I'll tell you all about them. First, I'm gonna talk about this. This is new and it's really cute and I really think that it's an excellent gift. So if you have a Sephora near you that carries kits, maybe uh, look into looking at this. If you have a gift that you still need to buy for someone, cause I think that this is so cute. Uh, or if you think that there is still time to get things in time for the holiday season, order it online if it's still available. I will link all of these things below as always. However, here's this. It's the Sparkly Clean Beauty Set and it's so cute. The packaging is so cute. It's very, it's like a really sturdy box and the presentation is adorable. So this comes with a Tower 28 uh, Tinted Lip Balm, an Ilia Volumizing Mascara, a Merit Cheek Balm, which is like a cream blush, a Say Dewy Highlighter in the shade Star Glow, a Milk Makeup Color Chalk in the shade Hopscotch, and then the Tatcha Liquid Silk Primer. So uh, I'm just gonna show you these things a little bit more up close. So this Tower 28 Tinted Lip Balm, I assumed was this color, which I didn't mind because a tinted lip balm is typically quite sheer. However, this is a not, not a red. This is like a mauve shade and I actually prefer mauve, so I'm happy about that. And I just ruined it by uh, getting the lid on the product. I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know, but it's really cute. It's almost like a little pencil. It's adorable. The Ilia Volumizing Mascara, I'm not gonna open this yet because I'm not ready to open it, but I do actually own this already. I don't, I have no idea where it is. It's uh, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not my favorite mascara in the world. It is fine, but it's not my favorite. I am very picky about mascaras though, so that doesn't really mean anything. I am happy to have a travel size version because honestly, while it's not my favorite, I do still like it. So it is something that I would consider traveling with. Next is the Merit Flush Balm Cheek Color. So this is the shade Cheeky. It's like a pinky berry shade. I love the formula of these. I have one other shade. I have Raspberry Beret. I love the packaging, I love the formula. They wear on the cheeks really well and they're really easy to use and apply and blend and all of that stuff, very user friendly. Next is the Say Glowy Super Gel in the shade Star Glow. This is their dewy highlighter. It's really lovely in terms of like shade and tone. It's very like champagne gold, it's beautiful and I love the packaging, but I have not tried it yet. The Milk Makeup Color Chalk, I did swatch right there, but I think I might've wiped it off on my pants. So I'm gonna swatch it again looks like that. It's like a champagne gold color. It's the shade Hopscotch. This is, I guess, an eyeshadow. I'm really not sure. I'm not familiar with these, honestly, but it is really cute. It's really pretty. The little packaging is adorable. And then last is the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. This is a makeup primer. And I just think that this set is really, really cute. I just think that this would make an excellent gift. It's $36. The value is apparently a $99, which is an excellent value. And it's so cute. Also, it's in a perfectly wrappable box. Next is a, a repurchase. It's the Use of the People Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream. So this was kind of a stress repurchase. When the sale was going on, I was breaking out. My skin was not doing the hottest. And I had this thing in my mind where I could literally only use Adaptogen. That was the only moisturizer that wasn't gonna break me out. That was the only moisturizer that wasn't gonna irritate my skin. And I ran out of it. And then my order was delayed by like three weeks. So I had no choice but to open a new moisturizer. And the one that I opened is one that I, I know I love. I've loved it for a while. It's one that I've used a lot. To no one's surprise, it worked perfectly fine for me. So honestly, this is just going to go into a drawer and I'm not gonna open it until I close a few other things, until I run out of a few other things. So sad, but this is one of the best moisturizers. It's really hydrating, but it's like medium bodied. So I feel like it's versatile and a lot of people could use and love it. It's fragrance free, it's gentle, it's lovely. Next is a newbie, it's the Orbe Apre, I think, Beach Wave and Shine Spray. 
So uh, jury's still out on this one. I've used it a couple of times. It's meant to add body to the hair as well as shine, which I can always use because my hair is really dry and I can lean on the very dull side. So uh, I've used this on wet hair and I've used it on dry hair. On dry hair, it definitely gives a sheen. I have really fine hair, so I don't know how much structure or texture this gives my hair. I still need to test it more on wet hair to see how I feel. I just really don't know yet. I don't know if this, if I think this is worth the money. I'm not gonna return it because I definitely don't hate it. I just need to experiment with it more. A repurchase, the Sol de Janeiro Bom Dia Bright Cream. Uh, so this, I have told you all, I primarily repurchased this because of the scent. It smells so good. It smells like, oops, I dropped the lid. Oh, look at that. It smells like vanilla and just kind of smoky-ish, like spicy. It's so delicious. I could like eat it. It has AHAs and vitamin C in it. So it's supposed to smooth and sort of even the skin tone, but I don't know if I think that, I don't know if I think it does that. I know that sounds silly, but like I use, I use Honeymoon Glow Body from Pharmacy Beauty. Like that is a staple in my routine and that has, uh, an AHA BHA blend in it and it I feel smooths and evens my skin tone very adequately so I don't know if this is working as well I haven't been using this because I've been out of it so I don't know I don't know if it actually does those things so don't get that from this review I buy this because it is decently hydrating and it smells really good I don't know if it lives up to any of its other claims it smells amazing and uh, it does hydrate my skin pretty well so yeah that's why I repurchase it <laughs> Next is technically a repurchase, but I haven't owned these in a long time, so I don't consider it a repurchase necessarily. It's the Gold Lush Shampoo and Conditioner from Orbe. It's a reparative line. I bought the minis mostly because I rotate through shampoo and conditioner and I have a ton of shampoo and conditioner. So it takes me forever to get through even a travel size because I don't use the same shampoo and conditioner every wash or even every other wash. So I got the minis because I wanted to not spend on the full sizes and because I know that these will last me quite a bit of time because I will not use them very frequently. Uh, I love this line though. I always err on the side of nourishing and reparative benefits when it comes to hair care because I do have bleached hair. I do have artificially lightened hair, so I use anything that will help prevent damage and repair broken bonds and all that stuff. So I got these because they are the reparative set from Orbe and they smell really good. They smell like Orbe. They're definitely bougie products, but they're ones that I will splurge on, especially if I have a discount. <laughs> Next is another Orbe product. It's the cleansing cream for moisture and control. This is a repurchase. This is a forever repurchase for me. It takes me forever to get through one of these because I don't wash my hair very frequently. And like I just said, I rotate through shampoo and conditioner. This is a co-wash. This is like a two-in-one, a fancy cleansing conditioner. And it's primarily for hair that is dry. And I think that normal hair types could enjoy it too, but I have really dry hair and I love this. I use it as just a one and done product. I don't use a conditioner following it. I use it at the step I would use a shampoo and I just don't follow it up with anything. I apply it at my roots and I just kind of massage it all the way through the ends. It's very hydrating. It leaves my hair feeling soft and supple and bouncy and just perfect. It gives me my favorite hair. However, it's very hydrating. I cannot use it every wash because it just is too hydrating for that. I do use it every other wash though and it's perfectly balanced that way. It does everything I want it to. It's perfect, it's amazing, and it smells so good. If you're familiar with the traditional Orbe scent, this is not it. This does not smell the same as their other products. This has a lighter, fresher scent, but it smells so good. Like I would love to smell like this all the time, all the time. It's one of my favorite products ever. If you have dry hair, or coily hair or coarse hair or you just have hair that does not produce oil, look into that. If you've never tried a cleansing conditioner and you have really dry hair, highly recommend looking into that. It's game changing. Next is a repurchase. It's the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Longwear Concealer. Hands down my favorite concealer of all time. It's creamy, it's lightweight, but it has excellent coverage. It never looks cakey. It's beautiful. It's my favorite. I can't live without it. I've repurchased it like a zillion times. Next is new and it's another concealer and it's one that I have very mixed feelings on. So this is the Rose Ink Soft Light Luminous Hydrating Concealer and I ended up buying two shades. I ended up picking up LX020 first and it's way too dark for me. Uh, it's the second lightest shade. It feels weird to call it dark, but um, you'll see. This is LX020. It is 
very yellow and when I apply it on my face it's just significantly too dark it makes me look orange and so uh, I placed a second order as I said earlier and I got LX010 because this is the lightest shade so these are the two lightest shades very different this one's very very fair this one's not nearly as fair. it ends up that neither of these match me like almost at all this one makes me look like a corpse and this one kind of makes me look like a pumpkin so neither are perfect. Uh, I have opened them, I have used them, so I feel like if I return them, they will most certainly be thrown away. So I've been trying to make them work, and if I mix these two shades, it's passable, like it's better, but it's not perfect. <sighs> However, the formula and I, like I just, I'm not sure. This is technically marketed as a medium coverage concealer. I think it's full coverage though, like it's very thick and rich and creamy, and it is very easy to use too much, but I love the finish of it. So when I get it right, I really like it. But when I use too much, I just don't. I feel like it looks very cakey on my skin. I feel like it emphasizes things I don't want to emphasize. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to return them or if I'm going to keep them and keep working with them or if I'm going to give them to my mom or something. I don't like returning products that I feel are just going to be thrown in the trash but I'm pretty sure I spent like $50 on both of these and you know, if I'm never going to use them, I don't know. It is one of those situations where I feel like I have to work to make this work for me and I don't like doing that. I'm very much a creature of convenience and I don't like it when something doesn't work like just as it's supposed to. And it's obviously not ideal to have to use two shades to get your match. I don't know how the rest of the shade range is. These are just the lightest two shades and these don't work, I, I don't know. I've heard tons of people say the same thing that the the lighter shades are like weird and undertone and all of that don't know next is new the rare beauty mascara i'm not sure what it's called because the name is not on here and i don't have the box anymore i love this this is one of my favorite mascaras of all time i'm pretty sure at this point i would i would go so far as to say that it's lengthening it's it separates my lashes well i use two coats and i feel like it just gives me great lashes like significantly better than they would look otherwise. I do not have great lashes. I don't use a lash serum anymore. There are still people out there watching my Grande lash video where my lashes were super thick and super long. And I often look back at that and I miss that, but I don't want to use that anymore. But yeah, since I stopped using that, my lashes have gone back to normal. I mean, I stopped using that like almost two years ago probably. And uh, my normal lashes are just, they're not, they're not incredible. They don't look like false lashes. They just look like lashes. So I do feel like this significantly improves the appearance of my lashes. I think it makes them look more lush, longer, definitely a lot more defined, and I really like it. Next is new. It's the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen, and I haven't tried it yet, so I have really nothing to say. I'm not sure that this is my shade. I got the shade 10 Larchmont, and I am I bought this shade because they were out of the shade that I would have chosen, but this one seemed like maybe it would work. And based on like just the way it looks in the tube, it might work. I'm not sure yet. I've heard amazing things about this, but I haven't tried it yet. I love Tower 28's products. They're formulated to be safe for sensitive skin. And I've just always had good luck with them. So I'm hoping that this is really nice and I will update you on it once I do get to try it. Another repurchase, the Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray. I've repurchased this a million times. I've been using this hairspray for like 10 years. I've tried so many, but I always come back to this one. It's touchable, it's lightweight. It doesn't make my hair look greasy or gritty or sticky or anything like that. And it doesn't make my hair feel like a helmet. It's just the best hairspray in the world, in my opinion. Okay, last two things are new and from Natasha Denona. The first is the uh, Glam Face Palette. And this is this was like love at first use, y'all. Uh, it has the most beautiful five eyeshadows. This is the light version. Uh, the most beautiful cream blush and the most beautiful powder highlighter. So the powder highlighter is like a champagne gold color. These eyeshadows are very neutral, but they also have like glam pops, obviously, with these like gold shades. Um, this blush is a very interesting texture. I feel like it's very different from the other Natasha Denona cream blushes that I've tried, but I like it. It almost has like a powdery cream feel to it. I don't know how to describe it. It's technically a cream blush, but I have had the best luck applying it with my fingers as opposed to using a brush or a sponge. But I do love it. I love this shade. I love the color payoff. I love the pigmentation. I think that it's really, really, really beautiful. So this is going to be great for traveling. It's lightweight. It's compact. It's really versatile and beautiful. And I love it. I 
have a demo of it as well as swatches on my Instagram if you are interested. They're in the Reels tab. A look with it and swatches. And then the last Natasha Denona thing that I got, the last thing I got, period, is the Mini Metropolis eyeshadow palette and eyeshadow brush. So I'm scared to try this because I've heard bad things. I've heard that it's chalky. I've heard that the color payoff is bad. I've heard that they're not blendable. But the colorway is so pretty and the brush is very just... I don't know, it's a versatile looking brush. It feels nice. It's thick enough to where you could apply shadows with it all over the lid, but it's fluffy enough to where you could blend with it as well. I feel like it's a multi-use brush. And this colorway is lovely. It's very like festive to me for some reason. You've got this gold, you've got this teal, but you've also got these neutral colors in there. I think it's really beautiful, but I haven't tried it yet, so I can't say anything other than that. I've heard it's not great, which is disappointing. I have uh, two, maybe three other mini palettes from Natasha Denona and they've all been really good. They've all been really impressive. Um, I The price point is not terrible and I've been really impressed with them, which is part of why I picked this one up, but um, it'll be very disappointing if the formula is different. Also, I have like four full-size Natasha Denona palettes and they're just unparalleled. The quality is so good. So I will be very disappointed if that's not good. Okay, so that's all I picked up from the Sephora sale, but I do want to talk about one other thing that has nothing to do with Sephora that's being sold at skinstore.com because this is a holiday product and I don't know when else I will have time to talk about it. So while it doesn't like perfectly fit into this video, I'm just going to include it so that you know that it exists. So this is the skinstore.com holiday edit. They come out with these value boxes that include a bunch of different products and this is their holiday version. This retails at $150, I believe, but it has over $500 worth of products in it. So let's go through what's in here. I have not tried all of these things, so I cannot give you reviews, but I'm just gonna tell you what's in here so that you can get a visual for what you'd be getting if you bought this. The Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. I've heard amazing things about these. I have tried them before and I did like them, but it's been a while, so can't say anything super specific because I can't pull my memories out from that far. Next is the Babor, I think, Hydration Ampule Concentrates. This comes with seven ampules. Next is a Canesco Skin Face Mask, Diamond Radiance. Ooh, it's really pretty, really pretty. It's got the bottom half and then the top half. This seems super lush. Ooh, seems super indulgent. Next is a fan favorite, the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I've heard amazing things about this. This is the U Beauty Resurfacing Compound. 111 Skin Nocturnal Eclipse Recovery Cream. The Verso Super Eye Serum with Retinol 8. The Neom Organics London Perfect Night Sleep Hand Balm. Ooh, I cannot wait to try this. It has a, a Nest Fragrances Bamboo Scented Candle in here. Super cute, tiny votive. The Elta MD Skin Recovery Serum. Very excited about this. I love Elta MD and I love barrier restoring products. The Medicaid Clarity Peptides 10% Niacinamide Infused Pep Peptide Serum. And then the PCA Collagen Hydrator. So that's a ton of products in this really beautiful box. This would be an incredible gift for yourself, for your mom, for your friends, for your for your spouse. It's just a beautiful kit and it's an extreme value. So highly recommend checking this out. Um, I will link it down below and you can just go read up on all of the products that are in it. Like I said, it's a great value and it's got a ton of great stuff in it. I also have a discount code that will save you $10 on that gift set, which is incredible. I will list it here and I will also link it down below. And that's it, that's all I have. That's my Sephora in that brief on that amazingly valued gift set. It's really beautiful. I took some really beautiful photos of it the other day and I was just like, wow, this is such a pretty box. I really love the box. I wanna keep the box forever. If you picked up anything at the Sephora sale, please let me know what you picked up down below. I'm super excited to hear uh, what everyone got because I'm just, everybody got different things obviously and that's super fun to hear about. If you loved anything that you got, please let me know. Um, I hear rumblings that Sephora is having another sale before the holidays. I don't know if that's true. I heard that it's 20% for all, which if it is, I feel like there might be some really mad people out there who spent at the original Sephora sale and maybe only got 10 or 15% off. But um, I don't know if it's real. I've seen a, an image of a flyer going around. I have not received the flyer. I don't know. So we'll see. If that does happen, I will definitely post on Instagram about it. Now, as far as what's upcoming on this channel, there are three videos left this year. I am taking the last Friday of the month off. It is, I think, New Year's Eve. So I'm taking that Friday off. 